Now check out the time frame in which they want it to be mandatory for everyone to have an RFID chip in their hand. This is part of the 2030 agenda and let's look at other hints and clues that this really is the time frame in which this is going to happen. All right. Did you know that the United Nations intends to have biometric identification cards in the hand of every single man, woman, and child in the entire Earth by the year 2030? Well, I think maybe more like 2036, but because it seems like whenever they have a date, like we're going to try to get our agenda all accomplished by this date, it's always years later. Now I did hear that there are some refugee camps where they are making it mandatory right now to have a RFID chip. Which that probably wouldn't be very hard to accomplish. If you were part of a refugee camp and they say, oh I'm sorry, you, we're not going to give you any food and water unless you get your RFID chip. Most people would just get the chip. Providing legal identity for all, including birth registration by 2030, is a target shaped by the international community. Alright, so let's look at other hints and clues about this 2030 and those surrounding years. Alright, so first of all, I'm sure that some of you already know what these chips look like. They look like a small grain of rice and they're able to keep information so you can just scan your hand and whatever machine you scan it under knows pretty much everything about you. Now according to Ken Peters phenomenal testimony it is after the worldwide earthquake or the Madrid fault line rupturing splitting America in half it's after that catastrophic event when it becomes mandatory for people to get a chip in the hand. So that's why I don't really foresee this happening until after 2030. Alright, so first thing you have to remember, Ivanka Trump in 2028. The Simpsons have already revealed who is coming into office in 2028. And I absolutely believe this is the last president. Simpsons also reveal around the year 2031, it actually says the year 2031 and involving World War China. So that means under Ivanka's administration there's probably going to be martial law and there's probably going to be a lot of troops being deployed all over the world. Now my theory is that Ivanka Trump, this is most likely part of some abomination bloodline or this person that we think is a female could have had altered DNA maybe in the womb or at birth she could have a male DNA mingled with female DNA which would work out perfectly for the Baphomet worship. So if Ivanka Trump is actually being portrayed in The Simpsons as Lisa in the future as a president and she talks about how they inherited a budget crunch from President Trump that would mean around the year 2026 or 2027 is when we should expect to see some kind of big stock market crash or financial turmoil. Maybe parts of the country will see welfare getting cut off or curfews. Because at some point they have to get the stage set for the coming future police state. But anyway, if you really want to know the time frame in which the end time picture or scenario is going to really start to unfold, uh, it's probably around the year 2028. So I would probably recommend, if you're going to really start storing up on food and water without leaving a money trail and all that good stuff, I would probably say around the year 2025 is when you need to go gung-ho, go all out, and get everything prepared and ready for the 2030s.